Apple just announced that iPhone 17 Pro will have ProRes RAW codec support on their phone. Sounds exciting, right? Because you will have the ability to record Hollywood great videos with full control of your color grading and so on. When I was watching this, this year, we're bringing it sounded good, but there was some confusion. Like, if this is so good, then why it is not yet in in the iPhone or any phone yet? The reason is very obvious because ProRes RAW codec keeps the video data in almost raw format. So it will take huge amount of space in the phone and also consume huge amount of power to process the video, right? So to give you an idea, I have asked ChatGPT that how much size one hour 4K ProRes raw and correct video take. So it is giving me around 360 GB, which is not actually the case because since you are recording in ProRes, you will not definitely record it in 24 FPS because this is the final uh, rendered FPS for movies. So you would want to have at least 60 FPS. So if you record one hour 60 FPS 4K video in ProRes RAW, then it would take around 1 terabyte to 1.5 terabyte in size okay so that is what the cost of ProRes RAW but in watching this at Apple event it sounds good sounds something we need but to be honest most of the people do not need it it is a totally overkill but if you are a younger brother of Tarantino or James Cameron then you may need it but at that time when you have a uh, uh, even more seamless something like this you would not go with a phone you would go with a camera with higher sensor size so that's it i just wanted to give you an idea that it sounds good in marketing or in apple event but the reality is it is not for most of the people because it is not just practical okay so that's it i just wanted to give you an idea and i just want to thank everyone who joined my channel you joining to my channel actually motivating me to make more members only content thank you once again for the support until next time happy video processing